Arthur in New York by Mark Brown. Here we are, said Arthur's dad, the Big Apple Hotel. Wow, said Arthur, three days in New York City. And Mary Moo Cow has an outfit for everyone, said D.W. I love our room, said D.W., and all these free snacks. They're not free, said Arthur. Let's see the city, said Mom. And what's city rule number one, asked Dad. Don't go off by yourself, said Arthur and D.W., There was so much to see. Look, said Arthur, the Empire State Building. Look, said D.W., Mary Moo Cow Palace. We'll visit them later, said Mom. Who's up for a horse and buggy ride? Me, said D.W. Let's take the pink one. It matches Mary Moo Cow's outfit. The next morning, they visited the Statue of Liberty. Is your doll having fun? A policeman asked D.W. D.W. pressed a button on Mary Moo Cow. Moo, said Mary Moo Cow. Oh, brother, said Arthur. In the afternoon, they went to a museum. Mom liked the paintings. Dad liked the sculptures. Arthur liked the mummies. Now for something we'll all like, said D.W. Mary Moo Cow Palace. Mary Moo Cow Palace had Mary Moo Cow everything. The new tippy toe tap dancer, the new star bright singer outfit, the Mary Moo Cow dream house. I could have stayed there for hours, said D.W. We did, said Arthur. Let's go. But I want to look at Mary's window, said D.W. Let's come back tomorrow. We'll see, said Mom. But the next day was zoo day. Mary Moo Cow wore her new lion tamer's outfit. On their last day, they took a boat trip. D.W. and Mary Moo Cow wore matching outfits. That evening, they saw The Lion King. Arthur liked the songs. D.W. liked the dancing. At the end, everyone clapped. Everyone but Mary Moo Cow. She mooed. Oh, brother, said Arthur. Moo. The three days went so fast. Now it was time to go home. I'll pay the bill, said Mom. I'll get the car, said Dad. I'll watch baby Kate, said Arthur. In D.W., she had one last thing to do. The car is here, said Dad. Where's D.W., asked Mom. Mom looked in the gift shop. Dad looked in the elevator. D.W. was nowhere to be found. I think I know where she is, said Arthur. Follow me. They ran out of the hotel and down the street. So there you are, young lady, said Mom. And what is city rule number one, asked Dad. I'm sorry, said D.W. I just had to see it one more time. You're in big trouble, said Arthur. I guess Mary and I will be spending a lot of time in our room. Too bad you don't have matching prison outfits, said Arthur.